When you are running the show, AKA your business, knowing how to dial into your productivity and hammer things out will be an absolute treasure trove pretty much every single day. Practice it, flex it, and keep showing up for yourself. Hey, my name is Jenna Kutcher, and I am obsessed with all things business, marketing numbers, and helping you to navigate both the messy and the magical seasons of this thing called life. I'm a small town mama who took a $300 camera, grew a successful photo biz, and now I work from home and run a seven figure online business. I teach you the tried and true secrets to building a career you adore. Shy away from the real talk? <laughs> no way. Money, hardship, growth, loss, and marketing are all topics we discuss here. Think of this as your one stop shop for happy hour with a gal pal mixed with business school. Pull up a seat, make sure you're cozy, and get ready to be challenged and encouraged while you learn. This is the Gold Digger Podcast. Thanks to Purple for supporting Gold Digger. Purple is an evolutionary mattress with its own patented technology. Go to purple.com slash gold digger and use the promo code gold digger. For a limited time, you can get $150 off any Purple mattress order of $1,500 or more. Now more than ever is the best time to start your email list. Are you up for a challenge? I built out a free mini course to take your list from zero to 250 subscribers, templates and tech all included. Sign up at listbuildchallenge.com. That's listbuildchallenge.com. Number one, you have to believe that you have something special to offer. Like I said, you don't have to have a business degree or a business plan all mapped out to start thinking like an entrepreneur. And the first step is literally just realizing that you yourself are unique. And that means that you have something special to offer the world. Meaning this, your background, your education or lack thereof, your triumphs, your mistakes, your wins, your losses, your personality, your natural skill set, and the path that life has led you down have all created someone who no one else in the world is like. Revel in that for a second. There is no one else in the world like you. That means that your thoughts are different. Your approach to problem solving is different. Your messaging is different. Your ideas are different. Your knowledge is different. And different is good in the business world. Whenever you firm up your offer, your differentness will allow you to position yourself in a fresh way and to lend a new kind of perspective to the market. Know that trust that and believe that you are uniquely different. And that my friend is a wonderful thing. Number two, lean into quick changes and pivots. Now, when I used to work for target, they had all of these leadership terms and one of them was being resilient and adaptable. Both of those words are so important as an entrepreneur, trusting in your ability to adapt and pivot is key. You'll have brilliant ideas one day that the next day you might learn aren't the right fit for your target market. And then another day, a worldwide pandemic might hit and bam, all of that copy that you've prepared for the next three months and that amazing launch that you're planning to do in a few weeks, it all might have to just be paused or adjusted or revisited in order to fit the new climate. Nothing is certain in entrepreneurship, your income, your success, your next big deal, your plans next week. It's all fluid and relies on way more things than what is in your control. And so trusting that you can and should adapt and pivot when the situation calls for it is vital. If you can't change with the times, then you might end up being left behind. So get ready to be able to be resilient and adaptable like I know you are. Number three, believe in abundance, like really at the core of your being, believe in abundance. Now the abundance versus scarcity mindset is not a new concept, but it's one that I learned about a few years ago, and it has totally shifted my approach to everything in business ownership and in life. Having an abundance mindset means that you always believe there's plenty of everything for everyone in life, including money, opportunities, or relationships, while having a scarcity-based mindset means you're fearful that stuff is eventually going to run out and that everyone is your competition. Training yourself to think abundantly will be your greatest gift that you can give yourself. Like, I mean it. You're not only going to become a more joyful person, but you'll also attract more goodness. Those who live in fear and scarcity tend to play small, isolate themselves, and not make a lot of progress as a result. Whereas if you believe that there's an abundance of everything, you're more keen to take risks, to make brave leaps, to go for massive dreams on your heart, and to achieve them because you're acting from a place of confidence that everything can work out. Number four, be unapologetic about creating independent wealth. I used to be so afraid to say that I wanted to make a lot of money and to be wildly successful, but it's like, why? 
Why is it wrong to think or say those things? My intention with my life and business is to serve others greatly. And one way I do that is through teaching you how to build your own independent wealth. And so why would I ever apologize for working my butt off to build my own wealth? Wealth is not evil. It's not greedy either. It's actually important to know what you want and to state it. And so if one piece of success to you is independent wealth, then do not feel the need to disqualify that statement or say that you're sorry for it. I have never once heard a man apologize for wanting to build wealth for himself, his family, or his community. So we shouldn't think a thing about it either. Number five, be your biggest hype girl. Let's be honest. uh, You likely can't afford a publicist right now. And it may be a long road ahead before you have people clapping for your wins or rallying up behind you to share your content, your offers, or ideas with the world. So It is up to you and only you right now to become your own publicist, your hype girl, cheerleader, and stage mom. Like show up and show off for yourself as though you're sharing your lifelong BFFs wins and accomplishments. If you can't believe in yourself, then why should anyone have the reason to believe in you? A lot of entrepreneurship is frankly lonely. It's troubleshooting problems and figuring out the best messaging to reach your dream clients by yourself on a couch at 10 p.m. and trial and erroring it up until you finally hit a good stride and feel like you have a handle on things. And then something will probably happen to shake it all up again. Throughout all those highs and lows, it is your responsibility to share your heart out, to be open about your wins and failures, to pump yourself up. Like ask yourself, WWDPD, what would Dolly Parton do? She'd be hooting and hollering your name and saying, you can do this. You got this. Remind yourself of that on a daily or even an hourly basis. You are your own number one fan. How old are your pillow and your mattress? Are they giving you the restful, restorative snooze you need to get up and crush another long to-do list? I thought I was sleeping well on my old pillow, and then the pillow from purple came into my life. My neck and shoulders feel supported, and it works with all the weird sleeping positions that I naturally find myself in. It's got me thinking that I need the purple mattress to go along with it. Purple is a new and evolved mattress technology with over 2,800 open air channels and naturally temperature neutral gel. You'll never sleep too hot or too cold. The Purple Grid is the only comfort technology that instantly adapts to your body and your sleep style. Unlike other mattresses that can disrupt your sleep, Purple is the just right all night feeling you've been dreaming of. Every Purple mattress ships for free and is delivered right to your door. If you're not completely satisfied, the Purple team will pick up your mattress at no cost. Experience the next evolution of sleep. Head to purple.com slash gold digger and use the promo code gold digger. For a limited time, you'll get $150 off any Purple mattress order of $1,500 or more. That's purple.com slash gold digger promo code gold digger for $150 off any mattress order of $1,500 or more. Terms apply. I know, I know things are crazy and unpredictable, which is actually why now is the best time to start your email list. If you've been wishing you had a way to reach your clients, your paying customers and fans with important information at the click of a button and without having to worry about algorithms, then this is for you. Are you up for a challenge? I built out a free mini course with templates ready and tech taken care of that will lead you through a five-day workshop to take your list from zero to 250 subscribers. In a time where there's a lot of uncertainty, you can be directly speaking to your people via their inboxes and offering up your services, resources, and the support that they need right now. Can you commit just 4% of this week to getting yourself results and following through? That's literally one hour a day, Monday to Friday for one week to get big results. Are you ready? Sign up for free at listbuildchallenge.com. That's listbuildchallenge.com for my free email list building challenge. I'll see you on the inside. Number six is look at everything as an experiment. Like if you approach entrepreneurship with everything being a success or a failure, you're going to struggle. Like sometimes you're just going to get things wrong and you'll have to make changes when least expected. And trust me when I say it helps if you adjust the way you think about your work, your projects, your pursuits, and the things in this figuring it out phase. If you look at these items as experiments, it's kind of like, well, let's just see how this goes and we'll give it our best shot rather than measuring it by the outcome. It'll be less about success and failure and more about learning as you go, picking up the pieces when something doesn't totally work out and then adjusting the sales to hopefully get it right or better the next time around. 
This simple change in the way that I evaluate results has made a giant difference on my life, and it allows me to be more creative and to try different things without feeling like I have to judge everything based on the outcome. When everything becomes an experiment, it becomes a lot more fun. Number seven, get comfortable being your own boss and get comfortable with self-motivating. Do you have a hard time with boundaries, self-control, motivating yourself to get your stuff done? Well, entrepreneurship then is not for you. I'm totally kidding. Let me just say that I believe it is completely human nature to struggle with procrastination and self-sabotage. Like we all know what we need to do, but the step from knowing to acting is a giant one. And it doesn't always happen in the most timely of manners or at all. I mean, I can admit I'm guilty here too, right alongside you. The thing is though, that you're going to want to stretch and strengthen this muscle until it starts feeling more and more natural because entrepreneurship really does rely on so much up and atom energy, especially when you're starting out. Start with little things, small promises to yourself that you know you can keep. And then here's the kicker. Make sure you keep making good on that promise to yourself. Yes, even when you don't want to. And yes, even on the days that it doesn't feel good or natural or like you even have the time. When you are running the show, aka your business, knowing how to dial into your productivity and hammer things out will be an absolute treasure trove pretty much every single day. Practice it, flex it, and keep showing up for yourself. A lot of times I don't necessarily feel motivated to write another email or to get on my Peloton bike or to create another freebie, but once I get started, I often get into this groove that makes me so glad that I followed through on my promise. And guess what? You deserve to keep your promises to yourself. Number eight, set boundaries, milestones, and celebrations for yourself. One of the craziest things about entrepreneurship is you likely don't have a boss helping you gauge your progress, your performance, and you sure as heck don't have someone reminding you to pause and celebrate. Yes, I said it. Celebrate yourself and pencil in those milestones and boundaries. I group these items together because when we have our own businesses, we're used to being in charge and caring for others and almost even carrying the communities that we've built, our clients, our customers, and our followers. And so it's natural to just want to keep trekking along right on past dinner time, past our birthdays, past anniversaries, or big milestone celebrations. But you deserve to have time away from work and you do not have to eat, breathe, and dream about your business every waking minute of the day in order to be a success. The entrepreneurs I look up to the most are the ones who know how to unplug, who take time to be with their families, and who respect their minds and bodies by giving themselves a break and prioritizing their health. If you don't prioritize your boundaries and celebrate those milestones, then no one else is going to force you to. You are the boss. You're the CEO. So set the example for yourself and make time to unplug, rest, and celebrate. It'll create a habit that you'll be so glad is ingrained in your routine for the years to come. Number nine, create the structure required for you to find success. Oftentimes, our creativity leads us into entrepreneurship, and oftentimes, creative humans aren't the most structured beings. Entrepreneurs know that they need to set themselves up for success. So figure out how to honor your flow states. If you're most creative in the mornings, then find ways to feed that creativity. If you know you're a goner when it comes to writing email copy, then find a way to outsource that task so that you can focus on the things that you are really, really good at and passionate about. If you find yourself doing the same things again and again, look into ways that you could possibly automate or streamline those processes. Find the routine and the structure that allows you to excel in every way and then commit to it every single day. Number 10, be willing to try new things. You may know about that time when I hired my first virtual assistant, Caitlin. She asked me whether or not I was using Pinterest to grow my business, and there were literally crickets in the room before I shyly answered, uh, nope. She went on to explain how it's massively powerful for driving results for small businesses, and we went on to implement all of the goodness into my business structure, and now Pinterest is the number one way we drive traffic to my website. We've had such success using and implementing that platform that I teach an entire course about it to other business owners. But I could have just said no to Caitlin and just left it at that. I already knew a bunch about Instagram and email lists, and my business was doing just fine without Pinterest. Who knows where my business would be today if I hadn't opened up to learning about a new platform that I had no clue how to use other than finding pretty house design inspiration, which by the way, I still do to this day. Now, when you're an entrepreneur, it is your responsibility to look at every new opportunity in a non-judgmental, unbiased way. 
to take in the information and really ask if it could be applied to your business to benefit it in any way. So stay open-minded, be willing to play, try new things. And hey, if it doesn't work out, remember, it's all just an experiment, right? Number 11 might be my favorite. See other people's success as possibility, not a threat. I used to get really protective when other people in my industry experienced such bigger success than mine. Goes back to that whole abundance versus scarcity mindset. And when I had more of a scarcity-based approach, I'd fear that someone else's wins meant that there would be less opportunities for me personally to win. But it's just so not true. And frankly, it's defeating if you think that way. Your unique capabilities and background specifically position your offer to be completely different than someone else's. Yes, even your direct competitions. And the right people who need your way of doing things will end up finding you because of it. Listen, you are not going to be for everyone. And that should be fuel for you to find the right people. And also a relief that you don't have to show up trying to win over the entire world every single day. What a blessing. What a weight off your shoulders. Like take a deep breath. Someone else is there to serve the people that you're unable to and who just aren't the right fit for your message or your method. Thank goodness. Like now you can go on being your best self and serving people in a way that only you were meant to serve them in the first place. Woo. That was quite a list. And I know what you're thinking. Great, Jenna. But now what? Well, now I want you to really focus on practicing these things, challenging yourself to adopt these mindsets and weaving them into your everyday life, even if you don't have a business yet, and especially if you do have one. Entrepreneurship introduces new thrills every single day, and you'll have seasons of successes as well as chapters that try to convince you to close up shop once and for all. I truly believe that with the right foundation with a mindset that invites challenges and keeps you moving forward through them, you'll have the strength and the perseverance to continue rocking your future or current business. I hope these practices reinforce that you are capable of doing this business thing because I truly believe that you are. So until next time, gold diggers, keep on digging your biggest goals. You got this. I'm over here giving you a virtual high five because you just finished another episode of the Gold Digger podcast. Did that go by way too fast for anyone else? If you want more, head over to golddiggerpodcast.com for show notes and all the discount codes from today's sponsors. And if you're looking for a new crew of movers and shakers like you to bounce ideas and ask questions, be sure to join my exclusive community for gold diggers on Facebook. The link's waiting for you at golddiggerpodcast.com. 